Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Legends. And in this episode of our 70s season, as David Pearson, the Silver Fox, we should be doing race 19 of the 27 race season, which will be the Talladega 500 in Talladega, Alabama at the Alabama International Motor Speedway. It's not called Talladega Super Speedway yet. The last episode raced at Michigan, and we could have won that. We had winning speed, but we got wrecked on the first lap. Had to fix damage in our one and only pit stop, and then we could never get back to Bobby Isaac. But um, the winner wound up being Cale Yarbrough, who was battling with Richard Petty, I think, for almost that entire race. I don't know how Bobby Isaac didn't wind up winning that in the end. So he, he wrecked me and then didn't even win. Insulting. Uh, before we go to Talladega, let's take a look at the standings. Yeah, I'm sixth now. We got past Elmo Langley finally. We had a way better race than him for our third place finish. Uh, so we got six wins. I don't think we're going to win this at all because we don't have winning speed. Our tires wear off so quickly, and then we're just trying to hold on for dear life. Um, you know, the last time we came to Talladega, I blew a tire, got crashed into by Pete Hamilton, and then the car got destroyed by the pit wall on, like, lap 17. So we're going to pit on 16, then I guess pit on 32, and then try to make it to the end on lap 47. Still going to put it on easy setup. I could probably get the pole on easy setup. I mean, I think so, but... Start qualifying. First up is Charlie Gladsbach. I'm going to be the fourth guy out there. Well, that makes it difficult to judge this stuff by. But um, right now, we just need to beat a couple 50.3s. Uh, Bobby Allison's good. I don't, I don't know if he's that good. Cecil Gordon, damn near matching him. As we come off turn four, the end of our first lap, I would love to know why they removed this, this, this shade over the grandstand right here. I swear that's not there anymore. I don't know why you'd ever move that. All the time of David is the shade isn't actually doing that much work. We already got a 48.9 on the first lap, so I ain't gonna run no second lap. That's good enough. Destruction! Well, so far, Richard Petty, Bobby Isaac, Buddy Baker, um, having better lap times. Tiny Lunn was one of the good ones. Is anyone gonna get into the 50, the, the 49s? 59s. Um, I, I don't think so. I mean, Richard Petty almost did. James Hill, Wendell Scott, they ain't going to get up there. So we're going to be starting on the inside of Richard Petty. Um, yeah, of course he would have the speed of this kind of track. He's going to drive away from everybody. So let's get out of qualifying, exit, and get to the race. Let me make sure that we're on a setup. Okay, let's go run the best race possible. Let's not crash into the pit wall. Let's pit on lap 16. On lap 32, and then make it to the end. And obviously, I'm going to be falling off and stuff. I'm going to try to just stay in the draft with their drivers and see if I can lead some laps because I didn't do that last time. I should have been able to. Okay, get ready. Green. I'm trying to watch the pace car. Pace car I don't know where they're going to drop the green from. I cannot let Richard Petty pass me this time. Okay. I don't remember who it was that was starting next to me last time, but not letting it happen this time. We dropped to the inside, and we are going to lead this first lap, but I'm going to lead as much as I can. We run some perfect laps, and they're going to start sticking their noses in there, which is going to suck. By the way, you know, I mentioned how this track looks different from it does now. We got this big green hill, and the stands are all the way up there. I don't... Is, was that big hill there before, and then... Did they just move the stands down? So is it still there? Or what? Like, how do you just take away a hill? I don't know what, but you know, obviously there, there's fans in the grandstands now. It's a packed full race. Talladega was loved just like this in the 70s, I guess. But yes, I swear that shade is not there anymore. I mean, if it is, it doesn't look like that. So that's our first lap. Kelly Arbor was already up to second, and I, I led a lap. I don't think you get bonus points for leading laps, but. Um, I would still like to lead laps, obviously. There's a fan in turn one. I'm in turn one. The and then there's the caution. You know, at, at no point in the nine laps that I've led have I actually had control of the race. You know, at, the biggest lead I had was 2.4 seconds after the first lap. And that has slowly, gradually decreased to 1.1 over Kelly Arbro, so he immediately got past Richard Petty, and 
I don't know who spun, but we should see the tire marks whenever we get there. Um, one of the petty cars is down pit road. I just saw that. So, get across the line here. And now yeah, the pace cars over there in the corner. Yeah, there's the tire marks. Hit the wall and all that stuff. See, how did that, that blue petty car already get down pit road? That's what my question is. <laughs> because they, I would have to have seen it. So, they can't crash, then just appear, go backwards, transport there. I mean, I don't know if they did that. Yeah, and I don't think I should go down because the earliest I can pit is like lap 15. And then the latest is lap 17. Yeah, he's been in for a while, you know. And I got to the line without passing the pace car. Good stuff. Cecil Gordon is passing me at this restart. The reason why I didn't pit is because I wouldn't be able to get to the end without another two stops if I pit under that caution. So I'd rather just stay in the lead then make my pit stop in like two or three laps. I think I saved some tires with fuel there. My tires don't last as long as the fuel. I haven't been told by the crew chief that my tires are getting worn, you know, at all this race just yet. So that's kind of helpful. I don't know if I've been more or less aggressive in this run at Talladega. But um, we're leading still. I really hope that's Richard Petty down there, but it's probably Pete Hamilton again. But yeah, their race is over. Ay, ay, ay. I hate the situation. Why couldn't the caution have never come out? We could use another caution, you know, like maybe after they take their second pit stops. Yeah, they're giving me the alarming messages about my tires and I can see Cecil Gordon all over my bumper. So, yeah, well, we saved some tire under the caution, but I still got a pit before lap 24, which is unfortunate. I would like to just make it a one-stop race, but that, that is really not possible. I could probably go a whole other lap, you know, maybe lap 20. They're getting side-by-side side behind me and shit. Yeah, this car is a lot slower now. It's just frustrating that the race plays out this way in a way that, you know, I can't make any sense of. I mean, because I have this severe amount of tire wear compared to them, and they only pit because of fuel. So I don't know what strategy they're on. Maybe they can only pit one time if they pit that early to make it all of the end. I have no freaking idea. I swear they have to pit again, though. But yeah, I'm going down pit road. That is Richard Petty that's out of the race. Son of a bitch. Come on. Start the stop. I hate this freaking game. Yep. Let's go. 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 I think we're gonna fall lap down. And now it says Richard Pace 13 laps down because I just passed him. And I mean, I think I heard all the other guys coming up behind me around the corner, but I ain't seen them yet. I don't hear them. Yeah, there they go. Well, shit, how am I gonna get on the track if they're all stacked up right here? How am I gonna get on the track if they're all stacked up right here? I can't turn down here. Okay. We're up to speed. We're there. Well, we're not last. Well, there's Bobby Allison. Didn't he qualify, like, up front? Kind of up front, like, middle of the field, I guess, after all everyone else got past him. Uh, well, I've got the draft of this guy, so I can stick with him and whatever. I really don't know what the purpose of this is. I don't think this uh, actually means anything considering I'm a lap down by these guys. And all those guys are stacking up up there. I wish I was up there, because I could use being in that pack right now. But no, I'm, I'm all the way back here. I might be up there, but I didn't have to back up because they want to start the damn pit stop. Well, right now, you got all those guys finally heading down pit road, and I should be getting some positions back. Did I unlap myself? That, oh my god, what on what on earth? This is terrible. Holy shit. Um am I back on the lead lap yet? I don't know how many of that, those guys like hadn't pit. Because I just passed a bunch of them lap before and then passed a bunch of them right now. Yes, that that's great. Um I'm gonna take a 
pit stop under this caution, and I should definitely be able to make it to the end because I was scheduling my next pit stop to be on lap 32, you know, 16 and 32. Yeah, uh, just considering that um, the caution the first time happened. Okay, so I beat him to the line. They're not telling me to get back behind him. So all these people hadn't pit yet, I guess. Why is there a car driving through the dirt over there? Oh my god, can the fucking brakes work? I hate this dog shit game! Ugh. Go, 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 go. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, so we're gonna pass that six car. So that's nice. Um that that's passing the six car wasn't for position. Why not? We're gonna pass the 99, we're gonna pass the 64. We're only 18, so so many of these freaking guys aren't even positioned. That pisses me off. Uh, what? Why do I have to stay behind them? What? What? They're not going anywhere. Um, I'm trying to. Where is the 106 car? There's not even. We only have 106. I'm trying. Fine, I'll back up. I don't have the horsepower to back up. This is such a terrible fucking game. So, there's the pace car. Um, I have to stay behind the 06 car. They are letting them lap us. The game is letting them lap us. The game is letting them take all these potential positions from me. I could be sitting behind them on the lead lap, but the game is letting them lap us. And this 06 car will not go. I'm not allowed to pass him, he just won't fucking go. We're not in line! There is no fucking line! We're about to go green! The pace car is in! This fucking bastard! Take that, you stupid fucking dunce. Fuck you. Total fucking garbage. Fuck this game. I tried. Couldn't make it. Okay. I, I jumped it a little bit. Not really that much at all. 64 is taking a run to the inside. I'm going to follow him down there. Good shit. Underneath the 32. Keep on going. Keep on going. Yeah, and none of these are in position, by the way. They could be, but they're fucking not. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And if there was another caution, it would end the race in her yellow. I'm on the lead lap. Or I should be on the lead lap now. But I'm 18th. And this game cheated. They had the 06 car hold me so that I would fall back a lap down instead of letting me be on the lead lap. Passing cars. For position. There's the white flag for me. The other guy won the race. Because they're obviously a whole lap ahead. I gotta make my way all the way around. This was a dog shit race. And this is a dog shit game. Oh my god. What a load of crap. Not only do my tires not last as long as there. We can't have our pit stop based on fuel because of that, so I gotta take two pit stops and I can't pit until like freaking lap 19 or whatever at the latest at the earliest, like 16 or, or 15 which was whenever we went green for after the first caution and I keep trying and trying to get back in the lead lap and get back into position to do something with this race but they put the 06 car in front of us and had him hold me up so that I would fall back a lap down. That makes no damn sense. We could have just worked our way back up to the tail field and been on the little lap where we were supposed to be. Disappointment looms for Rising Star. Oh look, you're right for once. I'm disappointed in this fucking game. But regardless, we're still sixth in the standings. Now 49 points behind Buddy Baker. Then Buddy Baker's 49 points behind Kale Yarbrough. Uh, Yarbrough just has a two point 
gap on A.J. Foyt. But all these big points gaps now because of the way that race played out. We all gained on Richard Petty. Even me gained on Richard Petty because he just blew up so early on the race. And we came on pit road like, wait, that's the 43 car. It's not the 40. And the 40, he won the race. Hey, see, he's got one win now. He got past Elmo Langley, but he didn't get to me. He's 12 points behind me. So Elmo Langley finished in front of me by a few spots, but yeah, he's still behind me, of course, because I remember how bad he did at the race before at Michigan. Yeah, that, that didn't go well for him at all while I was out there having a great run. Let's get out of here, take a look at them race results. Yeah, Pete Hamilton, the winner. Good run for Leroy Yarbrough, A.J. Foyt, Bobby Isaac. Dick Brooks doesn't usually run this well. Yeah, there's Kelly Yarbrough finishing 7th. Uh, Dave Marks, John Sears, Wendell Scott, top 10. I mean, that just means he finished the top out of the field. But, um, yeah, we, we got 18th. Elmo Langley finished 15th, so he only gained a, a few points on us. And Richard Petty just blew the whole freaking race. Electrical issue. Whatever. He, he blew up. That, that's what we'll call it. I'll see you guys next week for Bowman Gray Stadium for the Bowman Gray 250. Just a 62-lap race. It's one of those races where we could probably make it on one stop or no pit stop at all. And short tracks are usually good for us. I just have to be on pace. We can redeem ourselves after Talladega and win. We're going to win! Fuck this game! See you next time. That's that and episode over.